station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Houston Station, we're ready. Yep. Space Center Houston, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Station, this is Space Center Houston. How do you hear me? Have you loud and clear, Will? How us? Awesome. Mike, how are you? This is so exciting. We're all doing great. It's uh, an amazing experience for us all. Wow. We are so excited to be able to connect students at Space Center Houston with the Axiom-1 crew, the first all-private astronaut mission to the International Space Station. Thank you, Axiom-1 crew, for allowing us to be one of the one of the places you're connecting with while on the eight-day mission on the International Space Station. It's truly a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for us to have our students speak live with astronauts during this historic mission. Our students here today have a few questions that they'd like to ask you guys. Are you ready for the questions? Are you ready for the questions? We are ready. Go ahead. Awesome. So let's have our first student ask a question. Hello, my name is Maria Hernandez. I'm 12 years old and I'm in sixth grade. ¿Cuánto tiempo tuviste que entrenar antes de ir al espacio? Now in English. How long do you have to train before going to space? Hola, Maria. Pues voy a dejar a mi compañero Larry para contestar. Depending upon our particular role, anywhere from 750 to over a uh, thousand hours. And that spanned uh, some eight month period of time where basically we were training full time. And it's a great question. And that's really the difference between private astronauts and people who are just space tourists. Hello, my name is Morgan Musby. I'm 13 years old and I'm in seventh grade. What do you eat while you're in space? What does space food taste like? I'm going to hand that to my partner, Mark. <laughs> okay, I guess it's on. It's on. Uh, yeah, good question. Uh, in space, we eat most of the same things we eat back, uh, back home. We have meat and vegetables, potatoes, rice, and different dishes made with those things pasta. Uh, the difference is it's is in the packaging and the preparation. It's all either dehydrated or in uh, vacuum packed uh, packages. And we either put water into the package to heat it up and hydrate it and then wait a bit and then eat it. Or we put it in the oven and warm it up and then and then eat it. So same stuff, just different, different form. My name, my name is Ruth Sante. I am 13 years old and in eighth grade. I'm going to be asking my question in English and in Spanish. Is it hard to sleep in space? Es difícil dormir en el espacio. Not at all. It's really uh, fun to sleep here because it's uh, quiet. Uh, no airplanes passing by, no cars in the street really quiet and you can sleep any way you want. You can sleep horizontal like we do at home or upside down or vertical or with your head down. Each position is good for sleeping. My name is Madison Hinton and I am 14 years old in the eighth grade. What made you want to go into space, especially with all the risk? Why don't you take the mic? <laughs> so I think if you asked all of us crew members our opinion, I think it would be the same. And the reality is this is an extremely safe endeavor. If you look at all the safety measures that NASA, SpaceX, and Axiom, which organize this, have put together, coupled with all the training we've done, all of us feel confident that we can do a safe and successful mission. My name is Vivian Reyes. I am 12 years old and in seventh grade. What did it feel like to lift off? What does it feel like to fly in a rocket? 
I'll tell you what, it's pretty exciting. Um, it, it feels like, I don't know how, uh, what kind of car you, your family drives at home, but if it's a fast car, it feels like somebody stepping on the gas pedal really hard, only it lasts forever and ever. It takes about nine minutes to get to orbit, and that whole time we're feeling this massive acceleration. So in a word, I would say it's pretty fun. My name is Trent. I am nine years old and in, in, in third grade. I know this is a short mission, duration mission. What are some ways you spend your free time? Well, we have a pretty short Simple answer. We don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because of our short mission and our uh, heavy uh, science payload, we don't really have much free time. Uh, whatever we do have, we spend uh, just eating our supper or lunch or whatever and, and wrapping the day up. But uh, astronauts here on the space station spend their time doing what, uh, what we all might do if we're at home. Obviously, you can't go anywhere. But uh, if you're at home uh, watching movies or uh, reading, uh, calling uh, friends and family, which we can do through uh, voice over IP here. Um, that's pretty much what I do. So, same kind of stuff. My name is Ava. I am nine years old and I am in third grade. I know you're taking pictures from Cupola. What Earth observations are you making? The sights from here are amazing, especially during a sunset. You see the, uh, the earth and you see the atmosphere in different colors, sometimes red, green, brown, yellow, all the colors of this uh, very fragile atmosphere that's surrounding our planet and protecting us. So those photos are amazing. Hello, my name is Eduardo Hernandez. I'm 18 years old and in 12th grade. Have any of you ever seen your hometown from space yet? Eduardo, it's funny you should ask. Uh, just today, I had a couple opportunities to fly a beautiful pass over Spain, which is where I was born in Madrid. So I did get to see that. Uh, and also on the on a different pass, I flew over Boston, which is where I spent the next few years of my life. So uh, I have had that chance. I'm not sure about the others. It's pretty tough here, as you can imagine. We're going so fast, about 17,500 miles an hour, that you have to be ready for it. You can't just sit around and wait. You have to kind of look ahead and know when it's going to happen, set your alarm and get to the window, and then hope for good weather. My name is Liliana. I am eight years old and in third grade. If you could go to the moon, would you and why? Yes, the short answer is we're all in. We've actually talked about that and said, hey, would you come back if there was an opportunity to go to the moon? So. Uh, universally, it's a resound, resounding uh, yes. So please let the folks at NASA know that AX-1 crew is up to the challenge. My name is Kelsey, and I'm 10 years old and in fourth grade. What does microgravity feel like? There. Well, that's sort of what it feels like. Because uh, the, the nearest thing I can associate it with would be swimming, maybe. But right. even that's a lot yeah. different. It's a, uh, hold on, there we go. Yeah. Well, you see, he can start flipping, but he can't control himself with his hands like he would be able to in water. So once you get going, it's pretty hard to stop. Larry's smashing into all kinds of stuff be no, behind no. the camera. <laughs> the camera no. Just it to, to its right. Yeah, you kick the camera a little bit. To the right. To the right. Is that all right?
Okay. Now turn it, turn it to, to the well, to our left. I'll do it. Apparels of microgravity, right there. All right. Does that answer your question? I think it does. My name is Jalen. I am nine years old and in third grade. What kind of science are you studying while you are in space? We look at different aspects of uh, the world, the people, the health of our body, uh, medicine, materials, uh, preparation for future longer flights to space, to the moon, maybe to Mars. So those are all the areas where we uh, perform studies in. My name is Victoria. I am nine years old and in fourth grade. What has been your favorite part of the mission so far? Well, Toya, I would say that my favorite part is uh, just a few minutes after we launched into space and we were still on our Crew Dragon, that's the transport vehicle that we came here on, uh, all three of my crewmates had a chance to look out the window from space for the very first time. And their reactions were so genuine and so precious and so full of joy that it was a uh, it brought almost a tear to my eye. It was a wonderful, wonderful experience to have for all of them and vicariously for me. My name is Nolan. I am, in, I am nine years old and in third grade. What is the temperature inside the ISS? It's about the same temperature as it is at home, you know, probably maybe a little cool, so maybe 70, 71 degrees. It depends on where you are. There's a lot of different modules here, and each of them has kind of its own personality, including its temperature, its sound. But in general, it's not very different from home. Same temperature, same pressure, same composition of the atmosphere. So you don't need any special equipment to breathe, obviously. We're um, wearing shirt sleeves, as you can see. So the environment beside the lack of gravity is pretty much identical. My name is Yanni. I am nine years old and in fourth grade. How long does it take you to get used to zero gravity? <laughs> well, as I just demonstrated, uh, yeah, it's it's a little bit uh, challenging to do, but we actually uh, acclimated very well and were able to move around the first day we got here. And each day has been uh, a bit better. Some people will adapt quicker than uh, others. My name is Charles. I am nine years old and in fourth grade. Would you rather live with or without gravity? Well, microgravity is fun, but I think uh, we'd rather live with, with gravity, at least uh, if we're going to stay on Earth, because uh, we need it. It, it messes with your body, and we wouldn't be able to walk down the street. It would, uh, cars wouldn't even be able to drive. It would be pandemonium. So I think, uh, I think we all need a little gravity in our lives. My name is Leon now. I am 10 years old, and I am in the fourth grade. What was the most beautiful thing you saw while you were in space? The first view of Earth, to see that it's round and beautiful, blue, beautiful clouds, and the sun hiding behind the Earth is just a beautiful sight. Um, my name is Joel Martinez. I'm 16 years old and I'm in 10th grade. My name, I mean, my question is, um, is time different in the space station? Is el tiempo diferente en la estación especial? Bueno, el tiempo es igual. Lo que pasa es que tenemos un horario un poco distinto. Um, I'll go on in English. So I was just saying that the time, pa it, it seems to pass more quickly, but it's actually the same. But as you can imagine, we go around the Earth uh, 
16 times every 24 hours, so he can't very well rise and sun, rise and go to bed when the sun with the sun. So we use uh, universal time, which is the time in London. And right now it's um, almost 5 p.m. for us. Um, so we go to bed at about 10 or 11 at night. We wake up at 6 a.m. and that's kind of our work day. So the time is the same, but the hours is just a specific, I'd say, random choice of using universal time. Great, gentlemen. Well, that was our, our final question. We are so excited to have spoken with you today. Um, Mike, I don't know if you want to share any final words before we sign off. Yeah, thanks, Will. It's always great to reach out to kids in, uh, you know, live and hear the excitement in their voices. And um, we've always had a great partnership with Will, with you and Space Center Houston, and very grateful for the opportunity to talk to your the kids that are visiting today. So many thanks to you from the AX-1 crew on the International Space Station. Before you sign off, the kids here all want to give you a warm round of thank you. So ready, everybody? Again, Mike, Mike, thank you so much. And also thank you, uh, Larry, uh, Etan, and Mark. We're so proud of you. And we look forward to seeing you here at Space Center Houston when you get back to Earth. So we wish you a productive uh, time while you're in space and on the space station. And wish you all the best during your, your research. We can't wait to hear about your experiences when you're back here in Houston. Thanks again, everybody. I think we are going to sign off from our transmission. And again, let's give them a wa warm round of applause again, everyone who's here. Goodbye, everybody. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you. Thank you, guys.